If you would like to attend more live classes like these, click the link in the description below. All right, Mighty Family, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to today's chair class. Today we're gonna be doing upper body. It's gonna be a jam-packed upper body class, so I will walk you through everything you need to know. But first and foremost, let's talk about what we need for today's class. You will need a set of weights. I have just a set of three pound weights, very, very light. We're gonna be focusing on solely back and biceps today. So choose your weights according to what you feel like is best for you. I wouldn't exceed anything more than 10 pounds for today, but you can go anywhere from three to 10. And then and of course you will need a chair since we're gonna be all in the chair today. Uh, make sure you have a nice, hard, sturdy chair for today. We're gonna be kind of moving around in it a little bit. So we wanna make sure it doesn't have any wheels, nothing that's gonna compromise your form or anything like that. So that's all you need for today. We're gonna go ahead and get started in our warm up, and I'll kind of start to talk about what we're gonna do today. So go ahead and join me in a march. You wanna scoot a couple inches up in your chair so that your feet are nice and flat on the ground. And then just start that march, opposite arm, opposite leg here, nice and tall, deep breaths in and out, drawing that belly button towards your spine here so we have nice core engagement. Awesome job. We'll talk about what we're gonna do today. Three sets of four exercises. First set is gonna be isolated on the right side. Second set is left side. And then third set is putting them together with both sides, uh, both sides doing the movement. So um, same four exercises. I'll talk about that as we go. Go ahead and do some arm circles here with me. Um, we're gonna be alternating back and biceps. Like I said, we're gonna end with a one minute finisher, which I will talk about when we get to that point. We're just gonna take it one set, one exercise at a time here. Go ahead and rotate back. Keep those legs moving, get that heart rate up. Remember to breathe. So the reason we're gonna be doing some isolating movements today, right side and left side, is just to kind of get a good sense of our strength on either side. I know we all you know, sometimes have stronger right side, a stronger left side, and it's just good to kind of experiment with that. So it's always nice to do. Go ahead and join me with some, some goal posts. You can keep those legs moving or stop them if you're getting that heart rate up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back there when you bring that goal post down. Excellent job. Nice and light on the toes there. Wonderful. Okay, go ahead and keep marching if you want to. I'm gonna demonstrate the first four exercises. It's gonna be the same exercises the whole workout and then you can join me when you're ready. So you only need one weight since we're gonna be doing everything on the right side first then on the left side. So first exercise is a row. So what you wanna do is slight lean forward, keeping that belly button drawn to your spine so that you don't arch your back. And then we're taking that weight starting down below and rowing backwards. So the key with this is we're not up here, right? We're back. So drawing that elbow back, drawing that weight towards your ribs for 10. And then we're back up for a hammer curl, okay? So nice neutral grip here, keeping that elbow glued to your side and curling up for 10. And then we're back into a slight forward fold here for a back fly. So taking that weight up like this, squeezing the trap muscle, squeezing the shoulder blade there for 10. And then coming back up for a wide curl. So this time taking the weight out, not all the way to the side, but 45 degree angle here and 10 curls here. That's your first set. Not a lot of time of rest in between, but if you need to take some rest, please do. We'll take a rest in between all the sets, so don't worry. And then we will talk about our finisher when we get there. So without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it. Grab your weight, get it in your right hand, nice and situated on your chair, making sure you're scooted forward just a little bit so your feet are nice and flat. I like to stagger my feet just so I have nice control and I'm not falling forward, but you do what's best for you. And we're gonna start with that row here. So again, slight lean forward, draw that belly button towards your spine and we're here for 10. Really squeeze that um, shoulder blade back. You're gonna feel this in your back. Remembering your form here, draw that elbow back here. Three more. Last one here. Excellent job. Bring that weight back up. Sit up nice and straight here. I like to keep my legs staggered just because it helps with that transition, but making sure that you're nice and tall, keeping that belly button to your spine for good core engagement. And we're gonna begin with that hammer curl, okay? So elbow glued to your side here. We're curling up. The top of that weight's gonna hit the top of your shoulder here and down. So remember, we're not swinging. We wanna be nice and controlled here. We don't wanna see this. 
that's not doing anything for you, take your time through this exercise, making sure that you're really contracting that bicep muscle here. Don't forget to breathe in and out through the hardest part of the motion. Excellent job. Great, three more here. Last one, bringing that weight back down. We're taking that lean forward again. Draw that belly button towards your spine. Weight nice and light here at the bottom and then we're doing a back fly, okay? So with this, you wanna take the weight level to your collarbone. We don't wanna be all the way up here. Um, if you do have shoulder mobility uh, limitations, you can just bring it lower, that's totally fine. But play around with what feels best here. We're here for 10. Really burning out that right side. You may find that one side is stronger than the other, so feel free to do different weights for each side. That's definitely allowed. I tend to find my right side's a little bit stronger, so if you wanna move up to like a five or an eight, that is just fine. Three more here. Stay nice and steady here. Don't let the weight pull you to the right. Last one. Excellent job, weight comes down. We sit up for that wide curl. So take that weight nice and wide, palm is facing up, elbow stays glued to our side here and we're curling up for 10. This is working that interior part of that bicep muscle. Remembering to take that weight up, doesn't have to touch our shoulder here. Really contract that bicep muscle. Last exercise of this first set, hang on to it. We've got five more here. Great. Three. Two. Last one. Excellent job. Rest that weight down. You can hold on to your weight or you don't have to, but I kind of like to hold on to it for core engagement. We're just gonna get into a march in between these sets just to keep that heart rate up. It's a little bit more difficult to keep that heart rate up as we're doing upper body, but this is why we keep the march going. So I like to hold that weight just for that upper body core stability. You can set the weight down if you want to. So first set is done. We're going into the second set with the left side. So like I said, play around with the weight. If you find that you're doing the left side, the weight's too heavy or too light, you can do a different sized weight for that left side, but really making sure that you're taking time to isolate that, the, the left side only, and then we'll bring it all together here at the end. So about 15 more seconds here in this cool down, I would call it, I guess, or in intermission in between sets here. We'll, get, we'll go ahead and get started with that row on the left side. So go ahead and get yourself situated. I like to turn a little bit just so I have a nice ability to kind of lean forward. Take that weight in your left hand, starts down here at the very bottom, slight lean forward, belly button to the spine, and let's begin here for 10. So rowing back, as you can see, that weight is coming up to my ribs, my elbow is going back. So again, we're not up here. We are rowing back, really squeezing that shoulder blade here. Excellent job. Holding onto your chair for support if you need to. Totally fine, that's why it's here. Four more here. Excellent. Two, last one. Great. Weight comes down first, then you come back up for that hammer curl. So keeping that weight in that neutral position here, keeping that elbow glued to your side, and we're up here for 10. Nice and slow, really control that motion as you're going up and down. Excellent job. Halfway through, almost, there's five. Four, three, two, last one here. All the way through, follow the exercise through. Whenever you're done, have that weight to your side. Slight lean forward again here, drawing that belly button towards your spine. Hold on to that chair if you need to so you're not falling forward or to the side. And we're hitting that back fly, okay? So remember, we're nice and up level with that collarbone, really squeezing um, the traps uh, or the lats here, the traps here. <laughs> Sometimes get a little mixed up with those two, but regardless, let yourself move through that motion here. Take your time, again, nice and controlled. 
Excellent job. Ooh, really feeling that in the lats there. Three more here. Excellent job, last one. Weight comes down, we come up for that wide curl. So take that hand, that 45 degree angle out, elbow stays glued to that side there, and let's begin for 10. All the way up, all the way down here. Really extend, get that full range of motion through that bicep muscle. Great job. Remember to breathe. As it, get hard, as it gets harder, we want to hold our breath. Do not do that. Breathe in and out. Awesome job. Left side's a little bit weaker. I'm starting to feel this side a little bit more. Two more here. And last one. Excellent job, Mighty Family. Go ahead and join me in that march. Again, you can hold that weight for stability or set it down. You also don't have to march. If you're tired, use this time to grab some water, towel off, take a little bit of a break before we get into the third set. So third set is putting everything together. So the same four exercises, but you're doing everything on um, with both hands. So you might wanna maybe increase your weight if you want to, because you do have more um, control, uh, more strength when you're using both hands. But again, play around with that. You never have to stay with the same set of weights if you don't want to. After the third set, we're gonna do a one minute finisher. It's 30 seconds of a bicep exercise. 30 seconds of a back exercise, and you wanna get, you want to get as many reps as possible while staying in control and with your form. So I'll discuss that at the end of the third set, don't worry, but it's gonna be a good little burnout there. So we're gonna go ahead and begin in about 10 seconds. Go ahead and grab your other weight. Make sure you're nice and sturdy in your chair there. Feet staggered if you want to have a little bit more control over your balance. And we're gonna begin with that row. So weights are gonna start at the side. We're gonna take a slight lean forward, draw that belly button towards your spine, no arching in that back. And then both arms come back and down for 10. Great job. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you come back. You'll feel it a lot more if you're really isolating and squeezing those muscles. Remember to draw that elbow back. Weights meet at your lower ribs. Three more here. Two, last one. Excellent job, weights come down. We come up for the hammer curl. So feet nice and flat on the ground for this one since we're doing both hands. Start those weights there down at the side. Nice neutral grip. And let's begin keeping those elbows drawn towards your side, glued to your side. Weights are coming up, slightly touching the top of the shoulder there, or the front of the shoulder, and coming down nice and controlled here. Excellent job, really focus on that core engagement as well. When we're doing both, it can be really easy to rock back and forth, we don't want that. Pretend like your butt, everything is just glued, you're a statue, the only thing that's moving are your arms here. Two more. Last one. Excellent job. Weights come down, get yourself situated for that back fly. So again, slight lean forward, really squeeze that belly button. Weights start down at the side and let's go ahead and begin. So we're flying out like an airplane, coming back down. So this is a back exercise. A lot of times you look at this as a shoulder. It would be a shoulder if we were sitting up, right? Cause then you're working the top of your shoulder. When you're leaning forward, you're forcing your body to squeeze back uh, your shoulder blades and getting those back muscles. So just a little bit of of difference between the two because they look very similar. So making sure you're taking time to lean forward, really get the back benefit here. Nice and straight back, don't forget to breathe. Three more. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Last one here, Mighty Family. Excellent job, weights come down we come up last exercise is that wide curl okay so we're taking the hands out 45 degree angle starting at the bottom here elbows are glued to the side and let's begin up here for 10. i know we're tired we're we this last exercise then we have our finisher and then we're done we get to cool down and stretch stay in the moment stay active here 
You're doing great things for your upper body. Excellent job, Mighty Family. Halfway through. Three more. Last one here. Excellent job, Mighty Family. Go ahead and keep the weights in your hand. We're getting right into that finisher. 30 seconds of a normal bicep curl. So we're starting the arms down here, similar to a wide curl, but we're taking the arms in and we're gonna be just doing a bicep curl like this, okay? 30 seconds and we wanna make sure we're staying within form, but trying to get as many reps as possible. So count your reps. I'm not gonna be counting because my reps might look different than yours. So go ahead and get ready to begin in three, two, and one. Normal bicep curls here. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. That's is, this is why it's a finisher. It's up to you. I know we're tired, but it's also a really good way to push, push yourself towards the end here. Don't sacrifice your form if you're going too fast. 10 seconds left here. You got this. Counting your reps. Don't forget. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, Mighty Family. Last part, 30 seconds, we're almost done. We're doing a wide row. Back your hands out, holding the weights like this, slight lean forward, and it, it looks like this. Okay, so we're coming down and out, okay? We're gonna go ahead and begin in about 15, or 10 seconds, sorry about that. So start your weights down, and we'll begin in three, two, and one. This is your back finisher, count your reps. Really squeeze the top of the shoulder blades here. Very similar motion as the back fly, but we're getting a little bit deeper into our, our the middle of our back here. Excellent job, Mighty Family. You're working hard. We've done a lot today. It's been jam-packed. 15 seconds, halfway through. You got this. Awesome job. Three, two, and one. Squeeze one more in there. Great job, Mighty Family. Rise back up. You can drop those weights. We are done. Woo, let's shake those arms out. Lots and lots of motion there. <laughs> Go ahead and join me in a slow march just to start to bring that, that uh, heart rate back down ever so slightly if it got up there. I know mine did. We're feeling a little bit pers pers perspirish, perspiring, whatever. We're here to work out. We're not here to do English class, right? Go ahead and bring that march down nice and slow. We're gonna take a shoulder stretch across the body, okay? So go ahead and bring that left arm across your body, drawing that shoulder down away from your ears. We didn't do much shoulder work, but it's always good to stretch out the surrounding muscles of the muscles that you're working. Deep breaths in and out here. And go ahead and switch. Right arm comes across the body here, drawing that shoulder down away from your ear so that we're not up here. We're down here, nice and straight. Excellent job. All right, back stretch. So we're gonna take those fingertips, interlock them here, rotate those palms out, and just hunch your upper back up, just really opening up the back muscles there. And then go ahead and come up all the way to the top. Go ahead and lean to your left side, stretching out the lower back, side of the back. And then bring yourself back up to center, reaching over to the right side this time. Deep breaths. Excellent job. Bring yourself back to center, and then we're gonna do a couple big wide arm circles, really opening up the chest, stretching out the back here. We're doing basically a backstroke, really nice and wide here. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and take that circle forward, so this time coming up, forward stroke here. Squeeze those shoulder blades nice and slow here. Last part of our cool down stretch here is we're gonna take our hands all the way up, interlock those fingertips again, really reach, reach tall, 
and then we're just gonna let our arms drop. Just let them hang really nice and heavy. Let that warmth and tension flow through the top of your shoulders and biceps. We'll do that one more time. So reach all the way up, interlock those fingertips. Palms out, get that nice stretch nice and tall, and then let those hands drop. Shake it out and you are all set to go, Mighty Family. Thank you so much for joining me for today's upper body, back and bicep focused workout, and I'll see you guys next time.